Alrighty boys, do I have a long, long story for you guys. You guys seem to enjoy these videos where um, I run into a very specific type of player. And uh, this one's going to be a very interesting one. So, I was trying to record Random Fighter Select. Um, I had to scrap the live commentary for this video so I can actually narrate what happened here. But as you guys can see, the game fed me Israel Adesanya, which is not a bad fighter to be... To end up with when you're trying to do a random fighter select the only thing is um izzy has to be used a very specific way um and he's not as easy to use as you might think but for me right here the goal was i wanted to play sim with israel i wanted to you know circle switch my stances from time to time look to use my leg kicks um just fight in a very technical way use a lot of fakes and feints of course which is like a staple of the city kickboxing guys and then uh just take my time with it if i get the finish i get the finish if i don't get the finish i don't i'm not chasing nothing um i am i ran into a nick diaz player you're going to see that occasionally he's going to taunt right there he hits me with a taunt which is okay like, when you run into a Nate Diaz or a Nick Diaz player, you come to expect them to taunt. That is what the brothers do. So it's like, it's not even a big deal at all. Players love to, they love to mimic the brothers. So, um, right off the bat though, I notice, I notice the style this man is using. And it's, it's not a style that I come across often. A lot of times in this game, like, you come across a few certain styles. You come across the aggressive player. You come across the player that wants to back up the whole time. But then occasionally you will come in, you come across a hybrid or like players that do things that are simple, like on paper, but they do it together very well that they can actually pose a problem. So this guy right here, would I describe him as being good at the game? Absolutely. I would describe him as being good at the game. Would I say he's elite? Absolutely fucking not. Not even close to that. Um, his style, now he, at the time I fought him, he was ranked 77 in the world, I believe, or ac according to him, as you guys will see later. He was ranked 77. Um, and what he was doing pretty much was sidestepping repeatedly to avoid any sort of side kicks like you want to throw at him. Side kicks, front kicks, uh, and also to avoid jabs. Just basically any weapons that come at him in a straight line, he's going to be able to avoid them. And then he looks to mix you up with spinning attacks. Players like this can be very difficult to deal with. Not only does he look right there, he throws a spin to the head and he'll mix it up with a spin to the body. Now, the reason why this is hard to deal with is because the spins in this game actually breaks a principle that the game is supposed to uh, enforce, which is when you crowd your opponent, when you're standing directly in front of them, which is a very good way to deal with someone that's kicking a lot, you crowd them. But in the game, even when you are in close boxing range, they can still spin and hit you in the head. That is a flaw in the game. It's a flaw that is well known, a flaw that a lot of players do know, like right there. You see how close I am to him and still he's able to turn around and spin to the head. Now that spin, that turn in side kick to the head, it does a ridiculous amount of damage, especially if they land it while you're acting. Like it spikes vulnerability really, really high. And so when you run into someone that is, look at that, when you run into someone that's, that's throwing that, even from boxing range, it can be so difficult to deal with because you find yourself in boxing range and you start to throw and you think you're okay throwing punches in boxing range and next thing you know he's gonna spin around and kick you in the head with a turn and side kick from close boxing range at high vulnerability and it does a lot of damage. And so, uh, a lot of the counters that you would want to use for it, like crowding the opponent, staying very close, it negates that completely. It completely negates that. Um, and so that's what really makes this man really dangerous. Another thing is he, he looks to grapple. So he will mix you up with the, with the turn and side kick to the body and turn and side kick to the head and then occasionally he will look to take you down. His top game is nonsense. It's not good at all. Like it's kind of it's it's one of those like annoying top games where he just takes you down over and over again, but he doesn't really do any amount of significant damage with it or threaten with submissions at all. It's kind of a a nuisance style of top game. You know what I mean? It's not it's not, it's not nothing nothing you have to really worry about. Um, but he will take you down repeatedly. Like he can do that. So. 
right here, I'm still just moving around, just still trying to trying to use Izzy properly, you know, just land a few shots here and there, focus on leg kicks, he's still spinning, I'm like, like, I wasn't that worried about it, because like, I'm like, I wasn't, I'm like, it's, dude, I'll, I'll be fine, I'm just going to beat this dude like, it's, and move on, like, this, I, I wasn't, this is not someone that was, I wasn't worried, I just put it that way, <laughs> and so, um, I believe we're coming up right here to the end, now he throws, I believe he threw another front kick right there, and then he went for a head kick right there, and watch this, boom, from close boxing range, he spins, lands it, and flash KOs me. Flash KO. Done. Now, <laughs> I kind of laugh it off. It's like, this is, this is hilarious. This is, wow. Okay, that happened. I'm recording uh, Random Fighter Select. And this was going to be a part of the video. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to move on. I don't care. Like, I'm going to move on to the rest. And that was that. And then... As I was about to go do other fights, this man sends me a message. Like, I'm like, okay, we both know that was a stupid flash KO. It's whatever. But he sends me a message. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what that message said uh, right now. So he goes, gotcha. GG, though. You tried. And so I read that. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? So I respond. I'm like, I didn't. I know you didn't just send me a message to brag. LOL. Do you want to run that back? He goes, aha, nah, you got me wrong. I didn't know, Ben, no, it was you. Apparently, he didn't know it was me. Then it dawned on me with that style you have. I'm like, oh, crap. Okay, I got to KO him. I'm in heavyweight now, climbing up this top 100 ladder, but you are a great fighter. Love the content. I'm like, I'm reading that, and I'm like, okay, so maybe I just got him wrong, whatever. And he goes, but to be fair, it was a three-star fighter. And if you'd ended up with Sam Alvey, it wouldn't have lasted that long. So now he's throwing shade. He's saying, if you would have picked Sam Alvey, I would have fucking, I would have knocked you out even sooner. So I read that and I'm like, dude, I'm not even going to respond anymore. I'm just going to move on. And so I move on to go try to record some more. But then one of you guys on Twitter, you hit me up and you send me this. You're like, dude, there's some dude on, on Facebook right now talking about he destroyed you. And he sent me this screenshot that says, so I'm 77 in the world on Xbox, and I run into Martial Mind. Destroyed him. It's levels to top-tier players. Now, usually, I don't care if somebody beats me and goes and brags. If I made a video about every single player that beats me and brags about it online, we would be here all day. So it's not about that. What annoyed me was it seemed so fucking fake to me. Like, on one end, you're talking about you love the content, Oh, it's not, it's, it's not, I didn't mean it like that. And then you immediate, as soon as you win, you run to Facebook to, to brag about it. So it, it rubbed me the wrong way. It really, this one really did. And so I'm like, all right, we got to end this. And so I hit him up and I say, so you go on Facebook and brag about getting a flash KO win? You fake fuck. There's levels, huh? Let's run it back. Best of three. And find out. He reads it and he goes, ah, uh, whatever. Oh, you seen that. That's embarrassing. Hey, hey, I'm not a fake guy. It was time for heavyweight rank matches and I had to do those. And sure, I don't suck any action. Wouldn't be top 100 if I did now, would I, Mr. Toxic Man? I'm like, Mr. Toxic Man? Like, bro, you're the one that, first of all, won the match. You're the one that sent me a stupid fucking message. And then after talking about how you're such, you love my content, you go on Facebook and start talking shit, talking about how you destroyed me and there's levels to this. Like, I'm not the one that's toxic. I lit, after the win happened, I would have literally just uploaded that exactly as it, because I've done that in the past. Anyways, I say, run it back. There's levels, right? Let's go. He goes, oh, yes, indeed. Feed the needy <laughs> I tell him to send the invite, um, your best weight. He goes, my best weight is heavy. If you think I'm surgical with Diaz, imagine my John Jones. Yeah, I'm one of those players. Hey, I learned my moves from you, though. Student beats the teacher. I'm like, what the fuck is this guy? 
At this point, I'm like, I'm, I'm done talking, man. It's a cool story. Send an invite. Let's run it back. And you guys can read the rest of what I wrote. I was basically telling them, like, you could have just took, t- you, you could have won the fight, moved on, but you had to send me a stupid message bragging, and you had to go on Facebook. Whatever. I'm done talking. Send an invite and let's go. And so he does. Oh my goodness, man! I, it, it's this is this is partly why I I use alternate accounts, and this whole situation is making me rethink using my my actual account now. Cause like <laughs> lately, I've been using my account, but I right, bro, I'm just gonna let you do your thing. This first one, cause that's how we that's how we do it. I, I'm do your thing with John, man. I already know what your style is. I already know what it is. I already know. I'm going to stand right in front of you. Throw your spins to the head. Do your takedowns. Go, n- knock yourself out, buddy. And then I'll get you. Yeah, let's go. There's levels, huh, buddy? There's levels. I'm right here in front of you, bro. Do your thing. Yeah, and you guys, because this is, I'm going to demonstrate to you guys just how ridiculous it is that how ridiculous it is that they can spin while directly in front of you from boxing range. Uh, there we go. And, and this is not like this is not how the game was intended. It's just a fucking flaw that EA has refused to fix. Like what I'm doing right now, what I'm doing right now, where I'm standing directly in front of him, it that's that should be the way. Look at that. See what I mean? That should be the way to negate that. That's that spin he's doing. It, it should be you crowd him. But, like, I can't even tell you guys to do that because, like, they can still spin and hit you in the head. So, just use this first fight as a learning experience. This is... Oh, there we go. I fought this dude... Uh, I fought this dude the first time. He had he had Nick Diaz, and I was using Izzy. He took me down a couple times. His top game is, like, this is just nothing to worry about. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of an annoying top game where it's like, bro, you're wasting my time. Kind of thing, you know? You're up. He'll probably roll me to mount. Yeah. There you go. Half guard here. Dude, why are you getting up? Why are you getting up? Okay. Yeah. And I see how I see how this dude made top seventy-seven. I mean, in rank, I, I see how he's able to beat some players. Like I can clearly see it. This is the kind of style that if you're not ready for it, like if you, if he can really catch you off guard, especially because like like you think you're you're doing everything right by crowding him and then like. Out of nowhere, he spins and knocks you out from close boxing range. And, like, those shots, man, they do a lot of damage. So, yeah. Like I said, it, I can see how he's beating some of these guys he's beating, but he won't beat me in this best of three. I can tell you that. That's just not going to happen. Not here. Get a side steps. It's, I would describe his style as it's brute force and annoying top game. Brute force and annoying top game. That is it. And it, I'm telling you, it can be tough to deal with if you don't know like what you're dealing with. But once you know exactly what you're dealing with, like. It's literally not. A, it, it's 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 not the most difficult style in the world to, to beat. In the back here. By the way, I'm in the blue corner. In case you guys haven't noticed. In the back 
here. There, huh? My knee. Wait for the spin. Wait for the spin. Pay attention for the, to the spin. Hey, there it is. There's a spin. Watch for the flying knee. So it's it's the spin. It's the flying knee. And then the occasional elbow, elbow, which that can catch you off guard. There's a flying knee. Watch for the spin coming up. <laughs> and there's the annoying top game that he's not going to do anything with. He just won't. Like. Posture up. There you go. Alright. Yeah, this dude just really annoyed me, man. It, it's I, I just I, I get I get annoyed at like the fakeness, you know? Like I prefer it when a player just like clearly like just clearly doesn't it's like okay i don't like you and so every time i get a win over you i'm gonna try to clown you that's fine it is what it is but there's just something really weird about um oh yeah i love your content you call you calling me out i didn't mean it like that bro that's not how i meant it but then you run the facebook and try to try to paint a fucking narrative I guess we're gonna be petty. We gotta be petty from time to time. We're gonna be petty from time to time. Some of these players are so fucking stupid. Like, like, bro, I post losses on my channel, especially when I'm doing a random fighter select. All you, all you had to do was shut the fuck up. You got the stupid fucking win. I, y y it would have been on random fighter select. I would have posted it. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't have challenged you to a best of three where I fucking beat you twice in a row. And that's what's about to happen. But no. Y'all get your stupid fucking wins and you have to send me a dumb message to brag about it. It's just so retarded. Win and move on. Some of the worst, worst winners are in, in, the, in the UFC 4 community. They beat you and they gotta send you a message. Like, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Especially, like. like... Hmm. There we go. Ah, oh, this is embarrassing. He's going to. He's going to attempt that takedown. The Zabit takedown next. Because, like, see, now we're putting a shitload of pressure on him. And pretty much I'll strike at him. He's going to go for that takedown next. I'm just waiting for it. There's the spin again. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. There's <laughs> there's the there's the fly knee. Wait, wait, wait for the spin or the takedown. There's the spin. Nope. Got him. It's kind of like fighting a boss from Seafood. Where you like, you learned your pattern and you just wait. <laughs> That's what it's like, like fighting a boss from Seafood. Oh yeah, this is, there's the big attack. Woof, there you go. Wait for it, it's coming. It's coming. There it is. Yeah, my hope with posting this video as well is if you guys ever run into Marquise, you run into Marquise online trying to climb the leaderboards, don't let him. Study this video. This is his style. He cannot veer from it. He can't. It, it's ingrained in him now. When you fight him, you see Marquise, you, you, you're on rank and you see Marquise, expect turning sidekicks to... First of all, he's always going to pick a fighter that has a turn in psychic. Always. He'll, it'll probably be John Jones. Uh, Nick Diaz. 
it has to be the turn in psychic, not the wheel kick. That one right there. Once you run into him, just pay attention to that. Don't don't fall for it, boys. Oh uh, yeah, watch for the uh, elbow elbow combo as well. Body here, boom, boom. There it is. <laughs> there it is. He denied that one. That's good. He's going to go half guard. Yeah. In the next fight, I'll uh, I'll show you how to grapple, bro. Don't worry. Next fight, I'll show you how to grapple. And this is very very good because when I uh, when I ground you. And I hold you down, you're not going to be able to complain. You won't be able to complain. Because then that will make you a hypocrite. So I just, I can't wait. Just just do your thing, brother. Do your thing. Get to half guard here. Oh, <sighs> boy. Okay. going to finish up uh, round number three, and then we're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. You see, like, the, 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 this whole sending me res respect, it's like the, the backhanded compliments, the respect, but a oh, close one, bro. Close one. Uh, it, it's like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you don't know what you want to be. You don't, you don't... You don't know if you want to be a dick to me or if you want to be if you want to be nice. Like, are you off your meds, bro? Like, what the hell is this shit? And this is a grown man too. Like, this dude right here, he's a fucking grown ass man. It's not a kid. This is not a kid we're talking about. This is. Ugh. I I know because I've seen his Facebook. Like, I, I've seen it. I know what he looks like. This, this dude's not a kid. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Like, make up your mind, Marquise. Do you do you wanna you wanna be a dick or do you wanna be friendly? Like, what? Like, pick one, bro. Okay, so from the bottom, pre denying. All right, there's the pre denies. Okay, okay, all right. Mm -mm. Let's see. Yeah, pre denying. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. He's actually pre denying after every deny. Like, it's. Okay. You guys will ask me how I know. I know because I'm looking at the GA. When you see the grapple advantage jumping up and down like that, it, the player is pre-denying. Like, he's uh he's kind of playing it like, is it UFC 2? Is it UFC 2 style? Where you you punch and then deny, punch and deny, punch and deny. Like, see, see it jumping up and down? Yeah. And that's why, okay, there you go. And it's also why I'm able to build my grapple advantage really high. <laughs> Homeboy, this game works on damage. I hope you understand that. You're not doing enough damage on the ground 
that's going to allow you to win the fight. Like, top 77, brother, you should know this. You're going to need to do damage on the feet to win. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm not getting a rock on this shit. Get off. There it is. No, 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 no. The ref is not gonna. What the heck? ref is not gonna stop nothing? Okay. Pulls guard. Get up, sir. In the second fight, we'll grapple. Not this one. Don't worry. There's a rock. I don't know how you expect to win this fight, man. Nope. I don't know how you expect that you're going to win this. Mm -mm. Oh, you got real lucky on that one. Uh-huh, you rocked again. You rocked again, aren't you, sir? Nope. Oh, there comes there there comes all. There's there's lag. Who's lagging? Nope. Oh, Marquise, go ahead and spin again. Go ahead and spin again. You know you want one more. You want one more? All right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> clearly we got that first one. We got that first one. <laughs> like, see what I mean? Respect. Cl close what? How was that close? How was that close? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's make sure Marquise doesn't have an excuse for the second one. Second one, we're going to we're going to uh we're gonna make it so there's no excuse. I will finish you in this in this one. You will be stopped. Let's go. <clears throat> Come on, there you go. Yeah, like I, I get, I get those messages all the time. You know, when you guys send me a screenshot, like, "Oh, look at what this person's saying." And a lot of times, you guys, you guys know. A lot of times, I tell you, "Yeah, it's fine. It's okay." Like a lot of times, I'll tell you guys, "Oh yeah, that loss is gonna be in the next video. That loss is gonna be in the next uh, random fighter select that I'm doing." Like, yeah, it's fine. He got me. It happens. But this dude, man, he's he's like the first guy that try to be fake with me and um yeah i'm not about that man Ready? Ready? yeah let's go let's go fight and fuck off you ain't touching your goddamn gloves what do you think this is they're gonna touch your gloves you're fucking out of your mind bro okay all right oh we'll grapple we will grapple this fight we will grapple in this one. That's the not, don't even worry yourself with that. Go, 
I am in the blue corner, ladies and gentlemen. Keep forgetting to mention that. That's okay. Get off, get off, get off. And we're back here. Nope. Body here. Catch that. Nope. There's a head kick. I'm also watching out for that elbow, elbow on the inside. At this point, that is actually the most dangerous combo he has right now. So that, that elbow, elbow combo. It can, because it comes at you really, really quickly. The spins to the head just won't land anymore. But um, yeah. All right, sir, welcome. Come on. Come on, get up. Nope. There's there's that crucifix. Now you're going to be stuck here for just a little bit. Just a little bit. It will seem like an eternity to you, though. I promise you that. Nope. I'm gonna make him run away from the m mere idea of grappling with me in this fight. Watch, watch it happen before your eyes. No. We will get to a point where he will stop shooting. Nope. I wish I, I wish we would have gone five rounds with these fights too. So we can take our sweet time with it. <laughs> oh my god, man. That's how you ground somebody. We've only it we've only just begun, sir. We've only just begun. Alright, this is the part where he starts pre-denying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then positions positions we keep him positions where he can't there we go. Positions where he can't really do that shit. Nope. 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 You're done you're done landing the spin. You're done landing that turn and sidekick to the head, brother. You're done landing it. Now his, the hope is, now what I would suggest you guys do when you run into someone like that, I would still suggest that you crowd them, because a lot of times they don't know how to box. I would still suggest you crowd them, just block your head, you know what I mean? Block your head, even if they're threatening you with spins to the body, take the spins to the body, take those.
take those, uh, don't take the ones to the head. Because those ones to the head, that's how that's how you can get flash KO. They do a lot of fucking damage. Um Ah, there it is. All right. No. Come here. On your back, brother. <clears throat> no. Hold on. I'm going to get you right back in there. Yeah. So what I'm doing now is when my GA fills up, because he, when he notices that the GA is full, that's when he starts pre-denying. Like right here? No. When you notice the GA fill up, don't transition. Because then you'll try to pre-deny. Wait. Like right there. Wait a little bit. Then go. Uh-huh. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Nope. There we go. There's a GA. We're going to wait a little bit. There we go. Nope. Wait a bit, and go. Wait a bit. There we go. Nah. Okay, come on. Back side, take his back. I got the back corner. I got the back. Let's get him the to top mount. He's not going to deny it. Because he sucks. He's <laughs> not going to deny it. No. Get body here. No. What are you doing? Think I'm going to let you up? You're crazy, boy. You want to grapple, though. You want to do it. You're not going to you're not going to want to do this anymore. I promise you that. Yeah. Crucifix. Oh, in what world? Where are you go? You did not just stand up. No. Come on, man. Let's grapple, boy. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. Let's wrestle. You did not just stand back up to your feet. <laughs> no. It's over. It's done. Go ahead. Spin again. Spin again so I can sidestep it. Aha! Get up. Get up. Get up. Levels to this. There are levels. Mr. Top 77. Go ahead, spin. He wants to. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Aha. 
Hey, man, you got to show me these levels, man. These levels you've been talking about, bro. Oh my god, man. Some of these goddamn fucking players, man. Some of these goddamn players. <sighs> these elbows, sitting them down. Yeah, this this next round will get him out of there. We'll get him out of here. Just move on, move on. Yeah, let's do it. Uh huh. There's your spin coming up. Oh, spin coming up. Come on. <laughs> Marquise, Marquise. Oh, Marquise. It's going to be a KO, sir. Aha. Stupid fuck. Stupid fuck. Yeah. Dumb shit. Keep climbing that top 100. Keep climbing. If you guys run into Marquise, remember this match. Remember these matches. Don't fall for the stupid spins to the head. His top game is nonsense. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about his top game. Just, just keep your defense high. You're going to wiggle out every single time. He can't hold position at all. Um, if you have him on top, most of what he does is pre-deny. So... Wait for the GA to fill up just a little bit. Wait a split second, then go. You're gonna you're gonna transition easily every time. When you get him in side control, he sucks right there. Easily hold him there. When you get him in crucifix, he's awful right there. Easily hold him there. His striking is doo doo. It's all brute force. It's jumping kicks to the head. It's the spin to the head. It's flying knees. It's elbow elbow combos. There's nothing there. Nothing there whatsoever. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.